one of the, the questions that I, I know is probably sitting in some people's mind is if access to North Wagga is cut uh, and North Wagga is isolated, what level of support will be provided? I, I'd encourage you to be prepared if that access to North Wagga is threatened, to be prepared to be isolated for up to a week. Okay? Now, that includes um, all of your necessary food and medicines, um, and I, I'd encourage you that if you are taking regular medication, uh, that you try and get in to source those medications today. Uh, and the, the reason I say that is that you may not have the opportunity to do so if the river uh, comes up either rapidly um, or uh, if your local chemist is closed. So medication in, in particular is very important. Um, the second thing you should be conscious of is that if you have young children, um, you should have enough stuff to, to look after your young kids. The SES will, if more Wagga becomes isolated, the SES will uh, coordinate with the Volunteer Rescue Association to bring essential supplies only into North Wagga. Okay? We won't be able to put people in a flight boat so they can go to work. We won't be able to fly people in for uh, their, uh, their hair appointment. Um, but we will be able to provide assistance for people for emergency supplies, uh, for medical treatment and, and things of that nature. If North Wagga is isolated, plans will be enacted to make sure that the, the community is well catered for and looked after. Okay, it's, um, you guys have done it before, you know what's expected, uh, you know what, we know what your expectations are on the whole, but if you need help, ring us on 132500.